Time now for this week's Chevy Spotlight on a Reagan Rattler that puts his faith above all else. The Reagan Rattlers have been one of the top teams in the area for several years. Their success has come largely because of very good quarterbacks, and this year is no different. Now we, we have Ty Summers, and, uh, and we knew what kind of player Ty could be, and unfortunately he got hurt last year. But uh, Ty certainly ranks right there with all of them, and, and the thing that I'm thankful for with him and the thing I think that sticks out is, I mean, he's such a great leader. Uh, he's respected by everybody. He's respected by his teammates. He's respected by the student body. And obviously his athleticism and the way he plays speaks for itself. After being out for eight weeks, Ty made it back for the Rattlers' first round playoff game last year. That would end up being the last game of the season. It was like having a chip on my shoulder. You know, I, I knew that people probably didn't think very highly of me after the way I played. Uh, some people, I guess, didn't realize that I was hurt and they were thinking, oh, he's just terrible but I had to let that kind of motivate me, like you said, to go out there and just do the most work I could possibly could to get better and better over the summer and the spring and the off season. And uh, I just think that that motivation that I had to come out and show people that, I'm, that I can do great things uh, helped me do what I've done so far this year. That motivation has helped Ty lead Reagan to an undefeated record so far this year and some very impressive stats. Coach Wetzel says it's what Ty does off the field that is even more impressive. A tremendous young man. I mean, first off, he's a strong Christian young man that uh, is not afraid to speak about his faith. And, you know, I've, I've had a lot of people tell me he's the kind of guy that you'd let date your daughter. I mean, that's, uh, you know, that speaks well. That's a great compliment for a lot of dads to be able to say that about a young man. But he is a fine young man. Ty stays busy with his extracurricular activities, all of which are rooted in his faith. I make sure to put God as a priority in my life, and that's why I'm an impact as, uh, a leader at CBC, a uh, youth leader, and uh, FCA. FCA has been really important in my life ever since middle school. It's, uh, and so I always try to take that mentality of being a Christian athlete, because always being a Christian athlete, I do everything I do to give glory to God. And so he's given me the abilities and the leadership mentality to go out and try to, try to be the leader for my team that I know I can be and I know he wants me to be. And uh, so doing everything off the field all I think helps prepare me for on the field. Being a youth leader and quarterback, Ty knows he has to set an example for his team, the younger generation of kids that look up to him. There's always eyes that are looking at you. There's people that you don't know are watching you that are watching you because some people look up to, to football players, quarterbacks, running backs, like the, big t the, the bigger players on the team. And actually every player on the team, they look up and see, okay, what's he gonna do next? And I think it's really important that I, I make sure I carry myself not with a uh, not with a cockiness, but kind of with a confidence, kind of show people an, and a godliness mentality, just to be the, and showing what a, a real leader's about, and not saying one thing and doing another. You can go ahead and make the comparison. His teammates already have by nicknaming him Tybo. Summer says he'll take it because it's a great compliment to his game and his character. Not to mention, he likes running over defenders as well. With this week's Chevy Spotlight, I'm Brandon Moore.